Genetic traits distinguished in our physical appearances come from the genes each person gets from their own parents. Dominant traits like curly hair and dimples normally have a better chance at being present on the child as long as at least one of the parents has this characteristic. Recessive traits aren't common to appear on the child unless both parents possess this certain characteristic. DNA is composed by four bases, A, C, G, and T. A always binds with T, whereas C always binds with G. This is called base complementarity. When DNA is separated for cell division, a machine inside the cell called the DNA polymerase creates the missing half for each of the already divided DNA strands using the rules of base complementarity. We conducted an experiment in class which taught us how to extract the DNA from a living thing. The same procedure was used on three different foods, strawberries, a banana, and peas. To open the cell, you have to go through its membrane, which is composed of proteins and bodies with hydrophilic heads, meaning that they love water, and hydrophobic tails, which hate water. Since soap has such a similar structure, it combines with them and is able to enter into the nucleus and extract the DNA. The process for taking the DNA of a living thing is first adding detergent to break the cell membrane, then adding salty water to precipitate the already broken cell, and at last you add alcohol uh, to make it clam all together. The central dogma. The central dogma of biology states that the information contained in the DNA is carried by messenger RNA molecules to proteins. This process is divided into two steps. The first one, which takes place inside the nucleus, is called transcription. During transcription, the DNA information is copied into messenger RNA by the RNA polymerase. The second step is called translation. This step takes place inside the cytoplasm. During translation, the ribosomes translate the codons of messenger RNA into amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And proteins are the building blocks of life. life. The epigenome is a set of switches on the top of the DNA. They have the function to turn genes on and off. Methyl groups turn genes off, and acetyl groups turn genes on. The epigenome is important because we have the same DNA in all the cells of our body. And to make them different, we have to turn genes on and off in different cells. The epigenome works by epigenetic tags that switches genes on or off by opening or closing the chromatin to make the DNA readable or impossible to read.